Not everyone knows that if you purchase cold and allergy medication containing pseudoephedrine for an individual who eventually makes methamphetamine, that it's illegal. This problem, the problem of smurfing, where individuals, criminals essentially, are going store to store uh, purchasing pseudoephedrine with the intent to manufacture methamphetamine. The Consumer Healthcare Products Association took it upon ourselves in partnership with the retailers and the pharmacies around the country to begin to educate the general public about this practice. Ephedrine and pseudoephedrine, which are commonly used as over-the-counter cold medications and allergy medications by millions in the United States, are also diverted by uh, criminals uh, to the manufacture of methamphetamine. The Combat Methamphetamine Epidemic Act in 2005 required ID and logs recording the transactions to be kept in the retailers of these products. Our company, APRIS, uh, about seven years ago decided that making the entire thing electronic and real-time would enable the law to be enforced at the point of sale. CHPA have come to the table and are really trying to be part of the solution. We realize that lawmakers are searching for an answer and we feel that we have found one. That alternative being uh, electronic blocking, also known as the National Precursor Log Exchange or NPLEX. We have provided, free of charge, a system to track and in real-time block the illegal sale of pseudoephedrine at the point of sale before it ever leaves the store, essentially preventing the crime from ever taking place in the first place. I'm a community pharmacist in rural West Tennessee and it's very, very important to have the ability to track what my patients are receiving in other pharmacies. And Implex is one of those ways. It gives me peace of mind that they're, they're only receiving what they need when they need it and not receiving extra. So I can't go to Rite Aid, then go to CVS or go to Walgreens and buy because those computers are talking to one another and letting the clerk know, hey, this guy was just at this, this other store over here. This was the, an amazing tool that we could use almost in every facet of our investigations. For several years, we were tracking individual. Through the use of MPLEX and pinpointing through the proximity search feature, we affected an arrest within about two hours of his initial purchase. The MPLEX is uh, the single most effective tool uh, in preventing the uh, illegal over-the-counter sale of these products for the use of making uh, uh, methamphetamine. The discovery of meth labs by law enforcement has dropped in some states drastically. A prescription only law does very little to address the broad problem, and that is methamphetamine abuse. Prescription only laws are not effective at all. Losing our ability to show a person's pseudoephedrine purchases would have a, a significant impact on our ability to successfully prosecute cases. If, if we lost Implex, it would cause a huge problem for us. It would basically take away our total investigation from start because we can't track any of the other precursors other than the essential ingredient pseudoephedrine. If we lost Emplex, it would be a huge problem. It would be uh, similar to operating in the dark with, with no way of getting out. I think the solution is not making it harder for, for your legitimate uh, consumer to get the product, but to uh, fight the uh, problem with methamphetamine.